We've had our highs and lows on this channel, and Robo Geisha, written and directed by Noboru Iguchi, is definitely one of the lows. Robo Geisha isn't as bad as Big Man Japan, but it's still an incredible failure. Aya Kiguchi stars as Yoshi, a meek girl who aspires to be a geisha and is bullied by her older sister Kikue, Hitomi Hasebe. After revealing her hidden strengths, Yoshi is inducted into an elite band of geisha assassins run by the scheming Kageno Steel Company. Yoshi is also augmented with deadly machinery, which brings up Theseus's paradox. If most of Yoshi's body has been replaced with machine parts, then is this still Yoshi? Sadly, Robo Geisha isn't smart enough for such questions. Robo Geisha is not supposed to be taken seriously. This film is a male fantasy, with sexy young cyborgs fighting to the death. But that doesn't make it immune to criticism, as the entire film is poorly written and conceived. Yoshi becomes a robot serial killer for very vague reasons. She is killing supposedly evil politicians to create Kageno Steel's ideal world, but there is no sense beyond her word that these politicians deserve death, so it's obvious that Yoshi is doing the wrong thing. She is far more of a villain than a hero in the first half of the film. One subplot has a group of people striving to rescue their children who were abducted by Kageno Steel, and Yoshi turns against K Kageno Steel for this reason. This is a weak turning point for Yoshi's character, as I would have thought that murdering politicians, not abducting children, was the main reason for Kageno Steel being evil. Obi-Wan told me terrible things. What things? He said you turned to the dark side, that you killed younglings. Obi-Wan is trying to turn you against me. Kikue constantly wants to be, be better than her sister, but some clunky exposition at the end pointlessly invalidates everything we had previously learned about their relationship. Finally, it is revealed that, that Hikaru, the antagonist, plans to have his robot castle drop a powerful bomb into Mount Fuji, thus destroying Japan. This begs the question of why Hikaru even needs an army of geisha assassins when he can build a doomsday bomb and a robot castle. And why the f*** are these buildings bleeding? Most of the film is told in flashbacks, and the opening fight scene, which takes place in the present, clearly shows the Tengu as bad guys. Since they reappear in the flashbacks as Hikaru's henchmen, we already know, 18 minutes in, that Kageno Steel are the villains. Further tension is lost through the fact that Yoshi, no matter how much seemingly fatal damage she sustains, is invincible. There are a couple of cool, stylish fight scenes at the beginning of Robo Geisha, but the rest of the action feels stilted and clumsy. The battle scenes also rely too much on CGI gore and cheap-looking makeup, and everyone in the film has terrible aim with their guns. Add melodramatic performances, unsubtle villains, and ridiculous cyborg weapons to this mix, and you get a mess of a movie. But here's the silliest part of Robo Geisha. Toward the end of the film, Yoshi and the Tengu fight each other with ass swords. That's right, ass swords. How would you fit an entire katana inside your body? Ignoring the fact that you'd have no room for a spine and zero flexibility in your torso, these girls are fighting by wiggling their bottoms. That's not even sexy to me, it's just stupid. I don't find asses attractive, okay? Here's a little-known fact. The Tengu's special attack, uh, corrosive breast milk, was the inspiration for the whipped cream shooting nipples scene in the music video for Katy Perry's California Girls. Yeah, that joke was in poor taste, but it's no more puerile than the actual scene in the movie. I feel as if Apollo Z Hack should be reviewing this film instead of me, as he has a big soft spot for cheesy Japanese movies. After a promising start that launches right into the action, Robo Geisha plummets downhill rapidly. If you want a whimsical, Japanese-style martial arts experience, you'd be much better off watching Go Shukashi. 
Robo Geisha is a terrible movie and earns one and a half stars out of five. Thank you for watching. Cheers. You're wondering who I am.